Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 with myself, Hollow. We are back in the DLC for another episode. Is it the last one? You guys probably know if it's on the title or the thumbnail. I have to assume, like I've said this, I think this is the third time I've started an episode where I'm like, this has got to be the last one, right? This is it. This, I can't possibly do more. This, 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 it's so short according to everyone. No, no, it's... It, you know, I guess it's short compared to some DLCs, but I have not found this DLC to be too short. Absolutely not. Oh, I wanted to see if she was still here. And uh, she's not. She's moved. And you are still there as well. Okay, so we have to check the room upstairs. We're going to talk to you first, though. Hi, you're probably mad with me. Be forewarned, eager Ash. Should this world wither and rot, even then would Ariandel remain our home. Leave us be, Ashen One. Sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. Rude. But true, I mean, this is a place for people with no home and... A lot of those people are like mutants because they've been shunned and stuff, so that's fair. That's fair. You can be a bit bitter about it. You, you have every reason. Um, so she said, uh, even though this world is rotting and being, like, just ruined, it would still be a place for the forlorn. It would still be a home, something that they would have nowhere else. But that's just basically ignoring the truth, isn't it? It's just going, yeah, I know this world's doomed, but hey, we got a little bit of time left. Why why hurry it up? Which is fair, I guess. But you could just leave, you know? Right? Is it possible? Now that I think about it, maybe it's hard for you to leave. Leave us be, Ashen One. Sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. Whereas I can just fucking, you know, see this bonfire thing over here? It's just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, I can just, like, you know, touch it and go wherever I want. It's like a superpower. I'm a super, I'm a superhero. Anyway, um, the, uh, the thing I want to refer reference now before we go down there is the fact that, uh, oh, she's back. Um, there's another Ashen one somewhere, right? Somewhere out there, there's another Ashen one. In this world. Or at least they've been here before. Were they killed? Were they stopped? Are we going to encounter them at some point? Alright, look at that. She's touching the painting. So, she paints with her hands. Which explains why she was, like, touching the table. She's used to using her hands to paint. Maybe she thought she had, like, paint with her or something. Could she be blind? Maybe, maybe not. What are you doing there? I like your hair. It's very long. You ever considered cutting it? No? Note the little detail about the hair. She has like a little um, bit of string or whatever to, to hold it together so it doesn't go all everywhere. But the detail, there's another one down there to make sure that it doesn't go everywhere. I don't know why that's like, I don't know, something I picked up on, but it certainly is. It certainly is. God, look at that armor set. Oh my God. All right, hi. What are you doing? Thou art Ash. Yep. Thou hast a pact made with Uncle Gale, so I wish to tell thee all. Behold its size. This is my canvas. Oh, look at her, she's it's so cute. It's to be a cold, dark, and very gentle place. But first, I must see flame. Oh. Uncle Gale. Gail or Gal, that is her uncle, obviously, right? Obvious. But the man at the beginning of the DLC, the guy who brought us here, desperately seeking an ashen one to bring his lady blame, he was talking about her. This is the woman he was speaking of. Not the one downstairs that I thought originally, you know, the, the one that was wanting us to leave. No, this is her. And that's why they tried to hide her from me. And what she's doing is she's actually painting a new frozen world, like the original painted world, like this one, for her people to go to. So here's the question. 
Why is it that this group of people are trying to stop me? Why, why would they try and stop me? Isn't their purpose, their, their plan to try and keep this world as long as possible so that they have a home, so that they have a place to live? Well, if she's just here, you know, minding her own damn business, painting a new world for them, so that one that's not rotting and being destroyed, why would they be against that? She can paint the world, but she needs some kind of flame to give it life, to give it... I don't know, some kind of reality, some some way to make it real. And uh, we're going to maybe see the creation of a new painted world. I wish to paint a picture of a cold, dark and very gentle place. One day, it will make someone a goodly home. That's why I must see flame. Well, uh, uh, let's see what we got here. We got a pyro pyromancer hand, uh, got a, we got a torch weapon. All right, here we go. All right, uh, this, uh, does this do anything for you? This? Yeah? Flame? Looks right here, right in front of your face. No? All right, try the glove. Oh, look at that. That's a new pyromancy glove effect. Used to just glow, but that's real fire. Here you go. There's some lore on this. Do I need to punch you with it? I'm not gonna punch her with it. Cool though, it looks fucking cool. I guess uh, to show her flame, I need to uh, go down here, complete whatever's down here, probably a boss fight, and then go back to her maybe. Maybe. All right, uh, anything you'd say? Please. Nope, all right. Bye. What stalks thy ears? Please, my flail, right away. It's got a proper Scottish accent. And I, I have a terrible one. Um, so this is the person from the trailer. Oh, look at that. They look like a wolf. Um, it's uh, kind of like Bloodborne. They're like trying to put blood in that for a purpose. Don't know why. He said something about the flame. Maybe the flame's fading. Alright, so he needs to sacrifice his blood to keep the flame alive for some reason. I guess. Who even are you, though? And look at this. This effect coming in through the windows. I saw this in the corridor leading to the Mirror Night in Dark Souls 2. Uh, one of my favorite places in all of Souls. Amazing, right? Dark Souls 2. Favorite. Same sentence, I know. Um, but it had this, like, cool weather effect coming from uh, the windows, and we have, like, snow coming through, creeping through the open windows here. Looks fantastic. Alright, I guess you're the boss everyone's raving about. Everyone tells me you're, like, the best thing in all of Souls. Show me. Show me! I'll bring you the flail. Oh my god, I get real close. I can talk to you. See, this is where you put all your blood, is it? Bit gross, mate. But I suppose if you're doing it for a, a good cause. He's, he's actually bound to the chair. Look at that. He's trapped. And they're pinned down. He's actually imprisoned here. But he seems to be okay with it. Fine work. Well, alright, I better not read those. What if they spoil it? He's a Corvian, by the way. 
I think is a giant corvian, and biggest we've ever seen. Fret not, Father. We have no need of thy flail. Tis only the flame quivering at misguided ash. Please avert thine eyes. She's the boss. I what a twist. These ashes for good. She's the boss. I thought it was going to be the big Corvian dude. But no, it's her. Oh my god, that's genius. You're the boss, not the big enemy. Look at you. Wow. Oh. Oh, you're magical. Oh, wow. Look at you. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Hello? She's invisible. She's like Priscilla. Holy shit. She can go Priscilla, like invisible like Priscilla. And she's using a scythe just like Priscilla. But it's so much cooler now. She's got invisibility, dude. Look at that. She's in front of me, right? Yeah, there she is. Okay, so there's this period of time where... Oh, God. It looks like she's going to hit, but there's like a brief window that you, you actually don't get hit now. Come here. There you are. Look at that. Oh, and she gets staggered. She's like a humanoid. She's not actually that scary, at least in this current state. But I'm just kind of looking at her, and honestly, it's making me get hit a lot. So I should probably fight her. Oh, look, there's a pause on this. Nope, no. Nope. All right, you're just going to fuck with me like that? Fuck you. Okay, cool. So you can't combo her like normal humanoids. She's quite um, agile. Can't combo her. Okay, lesson learned about that combo that I got hit by last time. There we go. Oh, that was bad. I was in a combo and it was forcing me to block because of my weapon. And uh, I ended up losing all my stamina. Alright, so this is the big attack, right? Oh. Okay, it wasn't, but it was a cool attack. I'm looking for that combo. A lot of the time. Okay. She kind of likes to back up and then come in again very quickly and suddenly. Like that. Wow, dudes. I'm probably dead. No? We're good. I thought I was dead there. Okay. This can't be the whole boss, though. There's got to be something. Phase 2 or whatever. I mean, it's it's cool in its state. Don't get me wrong. I do really like this. But this can't be the whole boss. I'm probably, like, I assume dead because of, uh, you know, running out of uh, flasks and whatnot. Shit, she was just out of my line of sight there. That was scary. Dude, I was waiting for the pause that she's doing. And then she did the, she gave me the quick she gave me the quick There we go. She gave me the quick attack. Whew. Alright, so most of my heals are down. Uh this cannot go well. Oh, shit. Her blood is gonna help him. Oh my 
god. He fucking embered her. He embered her back to life. Is this some on scene and small shit? Oh, it is. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. On scene and small strategy. Here we go. Here's how you do it. Oh god. You kill the quick one first because the small one, the sm small one's gonna run at you by herself, right? Like Ornstein would. She'll come for me without him, logically. Then that's when I go for her. You land a hit. You back up. You're patient as hell. Let's see how it works for me. Four heals left. I remember Ornstein and Snow gave me hell. And the room itself is now massively increased in size. We've got frost and fire at the same time. Genius, dude. Oh, fuck. Easiest way to die is to let either of them out of your sight. doing something I'm backing up <gasps> oh. but she doesn't seem to dash really she does have some kind of dash ability but it's not really like anywhere near the length of Ornstein and she actually seems more like a nerf version of her former self like what we just fought there originally in the 1v1 she actually seems weaker than that Interestingly enough, he has a huge distance closer. Okay. I think I've got it down. Almost. Like, obviously, not enough to not take any damage, which would be, you know, ideal or whatever. But you walk up, and she kind of goes, oh, whoa. Ugh. Oh. I was, stuck in a, I was stuck in a combo again, guys. I was stuck in a combo. Alright, I don't have any more full heals except for, like, a divine blessing. He's doing the flame attack. There might be a phase three here. Where I defeat them or put them to, like, half health. And then suddenly something new happens. Because I'm seeing the pattern really clearly now. And I think they're better at boss design than that. But what I get... What I'm saying originally is you go in, you land a hit, and you back up. But you know what I'm not doing at all? I'm not hitting free, afraid. Oh no. Tried to roll there. If there is a phase three, I'd like to see it before I die. Look at that, lava. He sprays lava over himself. Seems unnecessary. Seems like a negative. Oh God! Oh. We have all thought of us from the mind, as thy kind always have. Okay. Um. Unless there's a phase three, like a third part of the fight. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Part of me thinks I shouldn't show you this part of the fight again because, you know, you've already seen it and I don't want to repeat stuff. So you just listen to the sound. It's how you work out where she is. And then using Quick Attack's finisher. I assume um, she's quite a hard fight when you've got, like, a slow weapon because interrupting her because she's a humanoid is quite powerful. Oh, look at that, dude. My uh, roll attack made me miss. Rip. Okay, so think about how many heals I used 
And this part of the fight, like most of them, I think I went into the next part of the fight with four heals left. Ooh, that was the uh, quick one. I mean, obviously it's easier when you know. But you have to actually work it out, too. Behind me. There we go. Awesome. So you used free heals there instead. Phase two. Oh, you know what? We can actually Ember to heal up. Increase our health bar. Not waste a uh, flash. Alright, so this time we're going to go for Ariandel a lot more. You know, we'll go for her when she just presents herself to me like that. We'll try and keep ourselves topped off. He actually does turn with the smashes a lot. And the smashes, if you're too close, will stagger you. Right. He's dashed away. They've separated. I got frostbit in there. And I got staggered by the knock-up effect of the frost. I would consider that some bad luck right there. Okay, being too cocky is bad. I've already wasted a fuck ton of heals there, like four. But uh, still, punishing them as they punished me. But learning that the knock-up effect there, the ice, is something to be respected. He's quite punishable on that. I don't think I punished him once. But not being overconfident with that as well, really important. Because she punished me. Look at that, she's doing something. I think she's casting a heal. I interrupted it. I may have still healed him, though. Anyway, you notice how much faster I've done this? All of my training from being Ornstein and Smo has pretty much helped me in this fight. Learning to separate them and learning the distances there as well. Remember, that's where you're supposed to punish him when he's doing the fire. I didn't punish him there at all. Interrupt that. I used my shield to block in the attack as well. Really cool. He's doing fire, so we're going to try and get towards him. There we go. One more hit, and now I'm going to back away. Don't get too cocky. Ooh. Time that wrong. Four heals left. This is what I started the fight with last time. She just went invisible. Okay, punish him now. One, two, three. Ooh, a slab. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's it. I was like, oh, that's it. I'm kind of disappointed. No, no, not disappointed. I was happy with it. Oh, my God. I was happy with it. But now she's using the Abyss as a weapon as well. Fantastic. Ice and Abyss at the same time. She's attacking a lot more like, uh, what's his name? Profane Capital Boy. Reminding me of him a lot. Pontiff, that's it, Pontiff. Let's uh, chill for a sec, alright? Whoa! It's the fact that you can interrupt her that makes this a lot easier. But that doesn't mean I'm going to one-hit this. Ow. Because I'm low on heals. Ooh. That was clever. Oh, that was the quick one. I thought it was going to be the slow one. And we're out of heals. All right. Oh my god, stop doing that. Stop. OK, 
Okay. Oh my god, stop. I ain't got enough stamina for that. I don't think I have any heal. Oh no. We have a heal. Okay. We're at, we're back in. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Oh, roll please. Thank you. Like, even when she does that massive combo, she's still not punishable. Look, look at that. Crazy. Oh. Can't be trading when I've not got any heals left. And look at that. Oh, I'm dead. Fashion one, sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. Holy shit. All right. Go on then. Go on then. We're going to fucking beat this effectively and efficiently. Okay. That's uh, going to be one heal down there. That's fine. She's in half health and we use one heal. That's okay. That's acceptable. Just gotta play it cool. I think where I'm going wrong is I'm trying to punish her more than I should, you know? One or two hits is fine. More than that is just fucking, you know, not cocky, but I would describe it as uh, too much, you know? You shouldn't do that much. There we go. So we use one heal there. We are on full health. Phase two begins. And we get fucked by the knock-up. Unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use an ember to get this heal. Here we go. Trying to get punished for it. Alright. So we're going for the big guy more than anything. He's actually easier to hit. We have to separate them somehow, though. Oh yeah, the fire. So you go for him when he's doing the fire. Got it, got it. Can't, can't be getting hit by that one. Okay. So that's uh, two heals down. I want him to do the fire thing again. We'll go for her because he's all the way over there. She's going to back up, so we go for him. That would have been ideal if he used the fire move there. Because they were really separated. That's the lava. No, no, it's just smashing. It's just smashing. I thought that was the AoE attack, so I backed up. I mean, there was some AoE, right? But it wasn't the attack I was thinking of. That's the attack I was thinking No, no, fire again. Oh, God. Holy shit. I swear I wanted to punish him. Did not get to punish him. There's the heal. One more. Oh, it was that attack when I had no stamina left. All right, we got her, we got her. So we're going into the final fight. Phase three, eight heals left. Eight heals. Is she gonna get up on the body? Maybe I should be right next to her. Oh my God. Wasted a heal, apparently. God, look at you! You're so cool! And I don't mean that as a joke or a pun before anyone says it. Oh no! I've got no stamina of any kind. There we go. There's a lot more damage in this phase. And stamina becomes so important. Oh, it is. Oh, 
Okay, let me let me actually hit you at some point. Okay, cool, thanks. I appreciate you letting me hit you there. You're a cool, cool girl, you know. You know that, though. You don't, you don't need. Oh, you can backstab her. Oh shit, you can probably parry her, dude. I bet that makes the fight a bit easier. But we're not gonna do it. We want to do it properly, man mode, man mode. Ain't no coward. Oh my god. That was scary. Three heals left. Can't be throwing out attacks like at nothing. Like that. Roll, please. Ooh. new. Oh, I swear I was rolling that. Thank you. That's fine. Okay. Get the heal. <gasps> no! I didn't have a heal. Oh god, we gotta... Oh! No heals left! Oh my god! <laughs> I had no heals left and I thought I'd killed myself. In that moment when I pressed the R1 the third time, I was like, You greedy fuck, you just killed yourself. No, mate. Nah, I just killed her. I sneaked out the fucking... Hidden Blessing, that was my final Hidden Blessing. I didn't have another one. That's literally my last one. We did it. I used my Ember, 13 heals, and a Hidden Blessing. But I fucking beat it. It was awesome. It was like a Bloodborne boss, like Lady Mariah, Maria, whatever her name was, from fucking Bloodborne DLC. Straight into Ornstein and Smo version 2.0. Straight into like this upgraded version of that Bloodborne fight that I knew and loved. <sighs> that was... That was magical. That was fantastic. I am very fucking happy and impressed with that fight. I totally get why people go on about that as their... One of their favorite fights in all of Souls. That was visually pleasing. The, the audio, the music, the, the actual, like, mechanics, you know, the references, her going invisible and using size like Priscilla, the fact that he was a giant Corvian and all the Corvians in the area and, like, how she's been probably manipulating him or something. Apparently, you know, he's fa her father, but no, his father, like, he's, like, running the church or something like that, I think, more than, like, actually mother, mother and daughter and all that. Um, yeah, wow. The first Ash to enter the painting... But together with the good father, they chose to rot over fire. Wow. So she was the second Ash. Or rather, I'm the second Ash. She was the first one. She was reborn and brought to life because the fire was fading. And they happened to come here to live in this world away from that and let things rot instead. It seemed like he wanted the fire to be back, you know, at the start. But they were obviously working together. He was obviously very upset to see her hurt. Like that. What's this? <gasps> Is that a Priscilla statue? It is, dude, it is. It has to be. It has to be. Hey guys, Post Commentary Hollow here once again. 
Uh, it could be a Priscilla statue, but something about that tail, now that I look at it more, looks more like a snake's tail. And in fact, the way the body looks and the way that the cloak is, it could be that tail goes all the way up her torso, and the head is actually the only humanoid part, which isn't really Priscilla. So, might be her, might not be her, but I do like the fact that it's a possible reference to her and would make total sense. Yeah, dude. That's a Priscilla statue. Ah, but you can't pat it, dude. You can't... Can't touch the fluffy tail. Rip. Oh my god, another great reference. Another great reference. So they have locked up, you know, trapped here. They have the painter. They have the painter trapped here. Look at this fucking room, dude. Fire and ice, man. Magical. Oh my god. They have the painter trapped. And they were using her to create a new world, or or maybe she was making a new world. She seemed to want to do it, and she said something about making a home for people. It, again, I don't really get why these two would be so against just going to a new world, a new home. Because, well, ideally they wanted the world to survive, even if it meant, even if it meant letting it rot, it was worth it to them. Even, even if it meant letting it rot, it was still worth it to them to have a home for the forlorn. But she's fucking making a new home, and she needs fire. Yes, fire will destroy this world, right? But it's going to bring forth a new world. A new place for the forlorn. Obviously, Corvians are easy to manipulate. You saw how he was probably being manipulated there. Um, he was like the biggest Corvian we've ever seen. Really cool. Those who aren't kin to fire cannot paint a world. Those absorbed by fire must not paint a world. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten, Mother. It's a family thing passed down between generations. She's doing the foot kick thing. We love that foot kick thing. Oh my god. I can hear the fire crackle. And soon, I will see it. My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting of a cold, dark, and very gentle place. So that it might make a home for someone, someday. Do I not get to see it? Do I not get to see her finish the painting? I was so excited by the premise of like witnessing a world being created. Anyway, down here, that fire that we're hearing in the distance is the fire that happened there. All the fire there. I suppose it's going to spread and eventually burn and burn and burn and burn and spread all the way to her. And, you know, we actually did see, um, Corvians, didn't we? Yeah, look. There they are. Corvians. He had the same face. He was just a big Corvian, I swear to God. Clever. I think that's it. But, surely... Come on, that's... There has to be some kind of ending. I mean, it's the fucking Dark Souls DLC. There doesn't have to be an, an ending. You know, you just do it, and you witness it, you piece it together, and you, you kind of come to the conclusion yourself. You don't need to see, like, a cinematic for it to know that it's ended. But I would have liked to see the world being created. But then I would have wanted to go into it, wouldn't I? Maybe that's the next DLC, guys. Whatever her painting My is. We mentioned before that we thought, you know, this is a scrap of a painting that we're, that we're in right now. Um, maybe the next DLC would be the rest of the painting, but no, no. Um... We might even go into a new one. Alright, well, the only thing I can think to do is come back to the area after resetting it. Where am I going to go to reset the area? Well, obviously, I'm going to go to the chapel where I originally met the, the, the uncle guy who was wearing slave armor. So he was a slave. And, uh... He's gone. He, he's gone. Alright, we'll go back. My thanks. God. The dark oh the God, there was more. I just skipped through it. 
My thanks, Ashen One. I can almost see the flame. Soon Uncle Gale will bring me the pigment. I wonder if he has found it. The dark soul of man. That's what we missed when I skipped through it really quick there. Whoops. I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. The dark soul of man. Oh. She, uh, she just said it again. So he's looking for the dark soul of man. Little uh, wordplay there, very clever. And nothing new down here. All right, wow. Tons of references, tons of things to think on. As short as it was, I really, really, really enjoyed it. That was fantastic. I had about as much fun as I did when I originally played the Dark Souls 1 DLC. My favorite DLC of all time in any game ever. So that's a pretty fucking big uh, positive and plus for this. I mean, I just enjoyed the whole thing. There was honestly nothing that made me feel kind of pissed off or annoyed or upset. I can understand people not wanting to face uh, the boss down there because it's kind of like a a little reference thing, not particularly new. Like it was a, a wolf boss, like Sif, you know, kind of a very old reference. But I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. So that's a plus from me, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you next time, potentially in a challenge mode that I do with Gubiak, potentially in a PvP video, potentially in law videos, because i am finally come to a conclusion on how I'm going to do it, and potentially some other videos too. Dark Souls will not end on the channel with the end of this DLC playthrough. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. Looking forward to doing more. I fucking love you guys. I'll see you... NEXT TIME! Oh! oh god, I may have overstepped. I thought I could make it. I thought I could make it. Oh! Oh, I could make it. <laughs> Woo!